Hey guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and it's time for another episode of Money Mondays JA brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. Now, I don't know about you, but I hate standing in line. I hate paper for no reason. Just writing on, see, I have everything for me, electronic tablet, write my notes on this, got my phone. I don't need paper in my life. You know, eco-friendly is the way to go. And so I'm very excited about this new thing being launched by Proven Wealth. It's IPO Pro. And I have with me CEO and President of Proven Wealth, Johan Heaven. Hi, Johan. Hi, Kalila. Thanks for having me. Wow, you guys doing big things, man. Yeah, well, let me start off by saying that I'm really happy to be partnering with you on Money Mondays. It's really been a great series. I'm really happy with the content and, you know, just the way that you deliver the investment advice, you know, to the public. You know, we're really happy with this series. Yeah, not advice, not a licensed not financial <laughs> advisor. But yeah, so tell me all about IPO Pro. So this is a, a digital platform. Sure. Well, IPO Pro, I mean, it's really just the first in a number of initiatives that we have slated for this year. We're really excited about 2020. IPO Pro is the first of it, and really it is a way of making the application process for IPOs easy and accessible, not only to our clients, but to the rest of the investing public. So really, it's, it's a simple three-step process. Our clients go on, establish their profile, enter in their application information, you upload your proof of payment, your ID, and we've made the signing process really simple. You download proof on app, and you sign on the app and it's uploaded into the system and, and you submit it and you're done. So it's really simple and completely paperless. Well, completely paperless. Yeah, That's so, the way that we're moving, the way of the future. So you're shaking up the market because before this, there was only one other digital platform. Sure. That's the one we know, Go, Go IPO. Sure. So now you're coming with IPO Pro. How is this different from what exists on your competitor's platform? Sure, it was very similar to Go IPO. What is different is the ability to, to sign through the app rather than signing on a piece of paper and uploading it. Mm. So, that, you know, there's no download and printing and signing. You sign on the app and the app is, the signature is submitted seamlessly and saved within the platform. So that's what's called electronic signature, e-signature? Right, exactly. Okay. Right, and, it, and as I say, it's just the first of many initiatives that we have slated for this year as we totally look to digitize wealth management, making it easier and more accessible to the investing public. Mm -hmm. And so this platform is already available. It's sure. already live. You're right. And you guys are We're one of the selling agents for First Rock. To, so that's correct. people can use this to invest in First Rock? That's correct, right. So interested investors in First Rock can go on, establish their profile, and actually apply for their the First Rock IPO straight through the platform. Simply upload your confirmation of payment, your ID, sign, and you're done. Do you have to be a Proven Wealth client to use it though? You do not have to be a Proven Wealth client. The only thing oh. that you need is a JCSD number. So if you already have an investment account with another firm, you yeah. just put in the JCSD number and you're, you're good through. to go. You're yeah. good to go. And this will be for every IPO that comes out? This will be the similar right. process? Yep. So all IPOs that Proven Wealth is the lead arranger or a selling agent, any IPO that we're involved in, we'll make the platform available for applications to be submitted. Okay. And so for other IPOs that you're not directly involved in that way, how does that work? Well, those will not be available through our platform. This not is a, platform. an avenue for persons to apply through Proven Wealth. Okay, I right. see. I see, because that's a complaint that, that you get, that I've right. been hearing in general, sure. that people just want to be able to go to one place and do this right. completely online. Right, right, right. So yeah. what's, what's the difficulty in making that happen? Is it in getting the other institutions to collaborate? Yes, and... An issuer may choose to use one, you know, one or two investment brokers to handle the transaction. It may not be open to all brokers within the market. So only those one or two brokerage firms can accept applications on behalf of that issue, mm -hmm. not the entire brokerage firms. Mm -hmm. So in those cases, the applications that are linked to a specific brokerage firm, that firm has to be involved in the offer for it to be available mm -hmm. for, for applicants. So I'm 
connecting some dots here because I'm here thinking, you know, why would you allow non-clients to use this platform? But I see, I see what happen, what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you having this platform makes Proven Wealth more attractive to potential listees. Sure, exactly. That's, that's, so, the, that's the objective? Well, even without a platform. To get business I, for some listings? Yeah, even without a platform, even with the paper, a non-proven client could come to Proven and apply to right. go through an IPO. So, it, you know, it, it does, it, what, what makes it more attractive is that it, it allows, it's more accessible to the investment public and also globally as well. So if somebody's overseas and they need to sign on an application, they can do so through the app. Mm -hmm. They don't have to know, be physically in Jamaica or papers be sent to them and they sign and, and send them back. So how long does the whole process take? What's that? The, the, the application, the application process? process. It could take minutes. So to submit the application, you know, takes literally minutes once you have your payment confirmation and your ID. And uh, the approval process is within six hours. So once we confirm the payment has been received, confirm the JCSD number, um, we are, the application is approved. And it's submitted. And what will the, happen? You get an email, and you get an email that your your application has been approved. So you know it's really seamless. Uh, we're really excited because we have a number of initiatives coming this year, leading to a full system change in August. So we're putting in a brand new system, which is just going to revolutionise wealth in Jamaica. Really excited about it. It's an internationally um, used system, and you know it should really give features that are not available through other firms within Jamaica and you know puts us way ahead of everybody else. So we're really looking forward to, to this year and what we have in store. I'm definitely glad to see the direction that you're taking. Mm -hmm. Anything else that you wanted to mention? You know, look out for great things. We every month leading up we should be announcing a new initiative between now and August. So we have a pipeline of initiatives oh. on, all di on the digital. Aggressive plan for 2020. Yeah, man, we're, we're, not, we're not playing. So, uh, so we have a number of digital initiatives that we're going to be rolling out to just revolutionize the way that brokerage is done, access to stocks, access to bonds, access to unit trust and mutual funds. You know, just to make things. Well, now I see why you're doing the APO. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the reasons. That's one of the reasons. You gotta raise some additional money. Well, yeah, that's one of the reasons. <laughs> yeah, man. So. But I know that's not your department. We'll talk about that another oh, time. Chris, right? mm. <laughs> but we're really excited for that as well. So we will use the IPO Pro platform for the proven investments APO. So, you know, all prospective applicants um, will be able to use the IPO, plat IPO Pro platform to apply for the proven APO, which we expect will be very well taken up. So, wonderful. Looking forward to that as well. All right, thanks so much, Johan. All, right, Kalina, all the thanks. best. Thanks I don't even have to wish you all the best. <laughs> Good things are coming in 2020. Coming up on Taking Stock, two-year-old creative training company iCreate has had a bit of a rough start, reporting more than $12 million in losses in their latest financials. How do they plan to turn it around? We'll hear more from founder, president and CEO Tyrone Wilson. And later, the analysts weigh in on the latest stock market developments. We zoom in on the real estate industry. Pulse, Kingston Properties, Stan Limata and others. How are they performing? What are the opportunities and threats in the industry? That's it for this episode of Money Mondays JA, brought to you in partnership with Proven Wealth. I'm Kalila Reynolds. See you next week. <laughs>